Hey guys, I'm gonna keep it short for today. I had in mind for quite some time this type of composition, something military related and I thought why should I not make a video about it. As you can see, I didn't use many stock images, but I think in the end it turned out quite nice. Also, I wanna mention something important. Since the channel grew up this month, I would love to know if you have any ideas for what videos I should make and what you would be interested in seeing on this channel. You can do this by commenting on this video or you can message me on Instagram at IXFstudio. Thank you for the great support shown in the last few weeks, it's been amazing to see how many people enjoyed my videos, even if I'm not close to call myself a good Photoshop artist. Having all of this said, let's just go straight into Photoshop. The main background image for this photo manipulation is this valley, which was the perfect spot for the crashed UFO that I will edit a bit later in the video. For me, the sky wasn't matching the scene I had in mind, so I changed it with a more dramatic one. After adding the hole in the ground and matching the brightness, I transform all of it into a night scene. The most efficient way in my opinion is to add the hue and saturation adjustment layer set on colorize with a dark blue color and just reduce the fill to around 15-20%. to After that I used an exposure adjustment layer to create a vignette effect. As this UFO is the focal point of the piece I had to make it as realistic as possible. For the mask, I highly recommend using a grass brush where needed, it will save you a lot of time and it is the best option. To create the impact into the earth, I use different fire overlays and images. All of them are set on screen and I use the black brush to mask out the edges. Adding the smoke was the most difficult part. I had to think how an actual fire would look. Up close it is almost black, meanwhile looking up the smoke fades to shades of grey. I added some light to the side of the UFO to give the impression that it hasn't been there for a long time. As I usually do, I added a new solid color adjustment layer set on linear dodge add for the glowing effect. I wanted to make some highlights as quickly as possible and for that I used the filter gallery option. Here I chose the glowing edges effect, set the values and then mask out and paint in on it with a white brush.
I felt that the image was missing something on the sides and I decided to use some 3D elements. Here it is basically the same process, reduce the exposure and adding highlights and shadows. <laughs> 